Hello and welcome to the Cars Link Cup Series YouTube channel and today we're going to be racing or tonight we're going to be racing Nashville and starting on pole is Lit Debrev in the number six Patty number uh, Patty car and uh, the two manufacturers with the most wins this season two for each is Chevy and Dodge and that would be Ricky Freeman Jr. and uh, and uh, two rows back at Chevy and Dodge. So, uh, in fact, uh, two of those cars have won a race. Ricky Freeman Jr. won in Bristol. And uh, NASCAR Fan 99 and number 49 uh, Pizza Planet car won the Daytona race. So, interesting. Uh, so, they're not having bad seasons uh, at all. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, really not much to go into that, but uh, another thing I'd like to add is custom innies are in play here. Um, I know y'all are probably annoyed about me talking about it in the Cars on the Cup series and here in the ZSS. Um, yeah, we've been working on it, and I found I think I found a mixture that works great for the cars, get some good racing. And uh, you'll be seeing that today for sure. And once we really get into the rhythm of that, I won't be talking about it so much because it'll be a main thing. So, yeah. Uh, last week's winner was Austin Johns. He's, you can see him in the picture here. He's not really starting too great, but um, got a, almost one, two for, uh, um, almost one, two finish for drip racing. They've really been in the highlights this season, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Gingis Khan got in the way of that for uh, Arctic Racing, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how, how these guys do today. 19 laps, kind of short. We'll see how they do. Drivers, start your engines! Go back to our pole sitter, Lit Debrev. Oh, something happened. Okay, it looks like they're getting it. What? Okay, so I believe Ricky Freeman Jr. is having technical issues, so he will not be starting on the start. Two dodges on the front row. Green flag in the air here at Nashville. Ricky Freeman Jr. having mechanical issues on the start. Not a good start to his race, but uh, already with a win this season being the points leader, I'm sure he can rebound. Litbrov coming in to turn one with the lead. Yeah, it's kind of getting annoying how all these cars keep having mechanical issues on the start. Uh, we had Austin Johns, Bo 707, all, kind, all kinds of cars have had a camera issues. And I believe uh, Ricky Freeman Jr. has since gotten out of pit road. Yeah, he's running on the racetrack. Is Omanessa battling for second? Respect to that number one car, Rick Freeman Jr. Yeah, he's actually about to go a lap down. So, uh, but considering he's got a little bit fresher tires, and uh, I don't know, uh, draft might catch him, but I think he's got a fair shot at staying in the lead lap, staying out of trouble. Oh, and uh, these three up here, the guys, we got Ronnie Racing's Reggie Fogelman up there in fourth, so he might be making some moves. Lit DeBrove has led all. To, has led the first two laps and might lead lap three. See Reggie, Reggie Fogelman for Ronnie Racing getting right underneath that 46 for third. Reggie Fogelman, a part time car for Ronnie Racing along with NASCAR Northern. Both part time uh, because they signed up too late, so. Uh, yeah, they haven't had much chance this season, but uh, next season uh, he's going to be running a team 
that will be racing the Ronnie Racing Charter in the ZSS. He might race on it as well as he once again tries to challenge this 49 car for third. And uh, it looks like he will get it, so that's good. Well, 46 putting up a challenge-ish, maybe? No? Maybe? No? Marty Thresher the third up there, along with NASCAR WWE. Yeah, these two battling. As Omanes has been right behind that six car. I'm surprised he hasn't made any moves. But these two right now battling for third. Uh, Reggie Fogerman, of course, being part time, is ineligible for points. Just racing for, I guess, experience for next season. And uh, so far, he's doing pretty good today. Omanessa makes a move on the six. Ain't gonna work. Dang, made a bold move too. It's 49. It was really battling up there along with Marty Thresher the third. Marty Thresher the third has been top five almost every race. The only bad race he's had this season was Talladega. And, uh, yeah, he's he's really one guy to watch this season. Won't be too long before he gets a win, so that's cool. Lap seven. We're almost halfway. Fogelman in third. Martin Thurston the third battling for fourth right now. He finished third at Atlanta a couple races ago. Battling uh, NASCAR Fan 99 for... Oh, and Crash! Mini One is around in the back stretch. The double zero of Mini One has crashed. Caution is out. Lap 8. Let's go back and see what happened. I don't think that took out any cars, but I think he just got really spun. So, yeah, he got tagged by uh, Bug Mustard in... Oh, he got pushed by Bug Mustard all the way through the corner here. Let's see if TV2's got first. Yeah, I just pushed him in the corner. Uh, yeah, that isn't... No, I mean, he should have let off. Uh, got Drip Racing's uh, Kazo involved. Tony5811. Amy Chilson got a win this season. But uh, overall, not really much damage to these cars. Not really any... It's going to take anybody out of the race. So, uh, interesting nonetheless. So, uh, caution's out. Um, I do have this better cautions thing on right now. Um, I have not tested double file restarts, so I don't know if that's going to work or not. But, um, yeah. Now, it doesn't look like anyone's pitting. This is a good break for uh, the one of Ricky Freeman Jr. Gets him back up to the pack. Pox Kozar uh, and... Uh, Weave Gonzalez, I guess, got some damage from that. So they're coming out of pit road. Uh, no front ends, really. Pox Cozart and Weave Gonzalez. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened to them. Might take a screenshot, take a look back at it. Uh, don't know how long this caution is going to last, so we'll see. Um, and I think they'll stay on the lead lap. So, yeah. And uh, the pace car uh, lights are not yet off. So I don't. I think what they're going to do is once the pace... I'm not entirely sure. I got this bettercautions.exe thing running right now. So I think what they're going to do is like once it's one to go, they're going to try to go after it. So uh, this we're going to use this time here. It's giving us to uh, get a chance and see what happened to Pox Kozart and Weave Gonzalez. So we're going to go a whole lap before. Because I'm not entirely sure what happened. Um, these two might have ran into each other or something. There's Ducko. Oh, there was a separate crash in the backstretch that happened here. 
I did not see this. Took out Genghis Khan, Ducko, and uh, 27 a Lethal Mourner. There was a separate crash on the same lap we didn't see, and it took out some cars. But uh, fortunately, everyone still in the race. Uh, not everyone in contention. We've Gonzalez in the last, or scored last anyway, so. Uh, yeah, that was unexpected. Uh, two crashes on the same lap. So, caution lights are off. That means we were going green this time. So, I, I guess they're not going double file. I don't know. We're supposed to go double file. Here, let me check my bettercautions.exe. Uh, yeah, should it's on. So, uh. I don't see why they're not going double file. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, we're going to go green, I guess, single file here. Kind of bummed we didn't get to go double file. I would have some pretty good racing, but, uh, eh. We get, we get what we get. Oh, never mind. They are going double file. Rad. That is absolute radness. Okay, so we are going double file for this restart. Wow, they did that really quick. Omanessa on the top. Flip the Brev on the bottom. Going green lap 12 out of 19. Green flag is in the air. Back again here at Nashville. And Omanessa gets a jump on the start with Barney Thresher. The 88 takes the lead on the restart for Orbit Racing. There's Barney Thresher third, fighting up on top for second. He's putting on a good run. Here comes Reggie Fogelman, Bird, and Nathan Hagelon. NASCAR Fan in 99, NASCAR WWE, and uh, Truly Money. Let me check here. Where's Meek and Zoll? Still in the race? Yeah, I guess he's still in the race. So lap 13, we're looking at Barney Thresher right now versus uh, Reggie Fogelman for third. Fogelman's put on a really good show today. Oh, oh my. Is three wide going to work here? 49 is way up the track. I think he's good. Yeah, he's good. Everyone stays good. Coming to lap 14. Marty Thresher the third still racing good. Versus Reggie Fogelman. Reggie Fogelman, he's putting up a heck of a fight. He's gonna try to pass that pie, but Marty Thresher the third gets a run on the bottom. Doesn't happen. Lap 15. Car coming out of pit road. It's Pox Cozart. He's with damage and a few laps down from that uh, crash that happened on the back stretch. Oh, and Bird getting moved. I think everything. I think everyone's good. Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Nathan Agalon getting full aggressive there. These two battling it out. And we may have a pass for the lead here come in a couple laps. That six, the lit the brub is not done with that 88. We got a good start. Uh, hasn't seen anyone since till now. These two also battling, Reggie Fogelman and Marty Thresher the third. Here we go, lap 17. NASCAR Fan 99 makes a move on the 24. Here comes Marty Thresher for second. He's going to go low. Marty Thresher for second. NASCAR Fan 99 for third. That's the battle right now.
Two laps to go here at Nashville. Battle for second heating up. Might bring NASCAR Fan 99 into this. Lit DeBrove getting a run on the top against the 59. He will clear, but he's got anything coming down in this corner. Not quite. And caution's out. Okay, so it is uh, caution is out. So um, yeah, I think Omanessa got the W. We'll see. Um, if so, this is the last lap. If this is for the W. We'll see. I don't know what wreck happened. Uh, no limit Phil uh, appears to be out of the race, so we'll see what happened to him. Um, I did turn on ad laps, but I don't know if I turned it on early enough, so Omanessa might get the W here. And yeah, Omanessa, I think. Wait, no, hold on. We're going to get a green-white checker um, here. We're going to get a green-white checkered. Or try. So there's been the laps added on. So this is uh, BC.exe. He's pretty cool. Uh, we are going green this time, so I will have to see the crash after the race and let there is another caution and another caution we'll keep the cycle going so Omanessa in the lead we're having a green white checkered okay uh, I think I might have messed up or something because it says there's two laps to go So I guess we're going to pit road the races. I don't know. Um, a little confused. Are they just going to pit and go? Or are they done for the day? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I tried. Give me that. I tried. So, uh, yeah, I tried. Anyways, uh, good race overall. Um... Yeah, the race is over. Kind of bummed, but oh well. Happens. Let's see what happened to 09. Also, I do need to figure out the green white checker thing. It should have had more laps to go, but guess not. Um, congratulations, Oma Anessa, on the win. Rick Freeman Jr., of course. Uh, I think he got involved in that crash with uh, no one Phil. But let's see what happened here. He's racing uh, four wide. Are you serious? That's not going to work. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Mini one upside down. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to see that in slow-mo. Okay, well, so we're going to go here. We're going to go TV2. Or, uh, yeah, TV2, and we're going to go slow-mo. Kind of slow-mo, not too slow-mo. Let's see if we get a good camera angle. So here it is, no limit fill going into the corner, four wide with 55 of, and these guys are crunching right now. These guys are really crunching, and then Mini Wong gets sideways. He's already been in a wreck, so it's Pox Cozart. And then uh, four wide just does, isn't going to work, I guess. And then no nines into the 55, MGA Gamer, Crazy BGD. Oh, hard hit. Pox Cozart up in the air. That lands it. Mini one sideways. Ends up upside down. There's no one at Phil who uh, I'm going to blame for that crash. Crazy BGD. Um, I might have to be honest. Not the greatest way to end Nashville. 
I was just kind of hoping for a green white checker. And we didn't get it. So, uh, a little disappointed there. I do have a bit of learning to do, so that's cool. Um, congratulations to uh, Omanessa on the win at Nashville. So, yeah.